I wasn't sure if I was going to come back to football or not. Been a small kid in a yogurt and t-shirt as well. What's the yogurt? If it happens, then you have to be prepared for the worst. Mm. Definitely know how much it means for for the people coming here. Tack för stödet. Ciao. Tack så mycket, Albin. Jakob, thanks for taking the time for the the interview. First of all, what does an away derby win mean to you? You're in cup final now. It was your first time beating Oiko away. It certainly means a lot. I've played in this club for for my entire life, really. These games always mean so very much for us. Last two years we've uh, had an exit in the semi-finals and we didn't reach the finals. So beforehand this this was a really special game away derby uh, against Oiko about 40,000 supporters there will be even more in the fourth round of Arsenal yeah 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 definitely definitely it really meant a lot and uh, we had this Europe qualification spot in the, in the pot as well a lot to um, take into account uh, beforehand it's a really special game before and then the way it ended up us being ahead for like 95 minutes and then last last kick they score penalty shootout second time for me it was just crazy it was quite a drama as well with Dennis missing in literally the last second but it made you the the it gave you the possibility to to be the hero after the penalty shootout because uh, except for if I'm correct except for one penalty you went the right way and you saved two as well and that proved to be decisive it was also you not the player scoring and then celebrating but you saving and then running around and celebrating and going to like you saw the fireworks as well that must have been sort of dangerous but like we you know all the supporter effort and then you you just run to to the supporters in in uh, in front of the the goal they were sending behind can you describe it as a feeling nah, as you said like I'm I'm not one uh, who, who scores goals so it's, <laughs> it was really amazing to to be able to celebrate like that I tried to go for the supporters straight away but uh, um, the entire team uh, stopped me in the way and we just, understandable yeah. uh, we were just like celebrating like crazy and then just making that run down to down to our supporters it was it was among the best experiences I've had in my in my entire life. The bottle which uh, which you had uh, the scorers, the Oiko uh, shooter directions on that went quite around on social media, it went viral. Is it something that you uh, always do or how do you just grab the bottle and hide it so that the, the opposition keeper doesn't see it or how, how does that work? No, but I think, uh, as I said, I've, I've done it before. Um, I've, I've been in a penalty shootout before once and uh, we actually had the same thing there uh, with, the, with the bottle. But in the end, it's, it's just like before the games, you, you scout your opponents, the way they press, the way they use possession and, and corner kicks and free kicks and all that. Penalties is among, among those things. It's definitely something that we take into account and uh, something you have to prepare for. You don't go into a game like this hoping there's going to be a penalty shootout, but if, if it happens, then you have to be prepared for the worst. So I was, and uh, yeah, that bottle, I, I don't think I had to hide it uh, from the goalkeeper, to be honest, because I think it takes a lot to for for an opponent goalkeeper to go up to uh, to a player and saying like he's got a bottle with your with your name on it. <laughs> Fair so, enough. But uh, but still, I I think I just placed it so I so I could look at it uh, in between. I think I had them all like remembered, but I still felt stupid not to uh, not to look a second time. Just to, just to be sure. The ultra surprised you with a message. Is that uh, something that represents the togetherness of Jurgården, 100% member owned between the supporters and the players? Yeah, I mean, in, in Sweden uh, and especially here in Jurgården, um, we have quite close connection to the to the supporters. Uh, it's it's very open here. People come. Not today it was rainy and uh, but like sunny summer days or spring days or actually like any kind of day people come here to watch the training you recognize the supporters uh, you recognize the, the kids coming here as well it's it's really familiar um, and and I really appreciate that because me I've, I've been a, I've been a small kid in a yogurt and t-shirt as well I've been here so many times as a kid I can't remember I still have former goalkeepers gloves at home so now children want your glove yeah yeah exactly and I, I definitely know how much it means for for the people coming here i'm really glad to give back 
um, in, in that way. Our last question, quite many Uruguayan supporters are aware of this, but I don't think the international football community following Swedish football is that you had a choice of going to either medical university or football. We can see what you decided eventually. Can you tell us a bit about that decision? I came here about five years ago and uh, quite early on I got to I got two severe concussions. Uh, I was away from football for one and a half year, uh, and and that's why I wear this wear this helmet. By the way, it, this hideous thing um, that helps me. Well, actually, I, I don't have to wear it now, but it's part of your identity by now. You just took it straight away after saving the last <laughs> penalty. <laughs> um, I I just. I have it during the games, but yeah, as soon as the referee blows the whistle, I'm, I tend to take it off. Uh, I don't need it, but uh, my mom, my mom likes me having it. But anyways, um, during that period, I I felt that I had to do something. I wasn't sure if I was going to come back to football or not. I come from a family uh, with like several people studying medicine before me. I felt like that was something I could do and I actually started and I did it for half a year. But then I came back here and um, decided to take uh, another shot with this because studying I can do whenever I quit, but this I can't do later on. I, I have to do this now. And actually, I definitely love the decision I've, I've made. That sounds really smart and uh, congratulations for coming back. And uh, that seems conscious as well. So thanks a lot for taking the time and wish you best of luck for the upcoming season. Thank and you. see you at the next derby soon. Yeah, and thank you very much as well.